So here's what we've done. We're going to stack uh, two air admittance valves together. This is a double valve and this is a single. And this is the second video I'm going to do on this. Um, I'm using, um, you could probably use Armor Oil. I like this 303 protectant. It's pretty good stuff. But So what I've done is I've sprayed the diaphragm inside here um, with a film of that protectant. And I've sprayed it from the top down. Okay, see it in there? So we've got some protectant down there. And then I drilled holes in the top of this air admittance valve. But you have to be careful because there's a center assembly that holds the spring that uh, keeps tension on that diaphragm so it works properly. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this valve here and we're going to stack it on top of this other one. Okay. So at the end of the day, uh, we're going to have this single air admittance valve, this dual air admittance valve, and three valves working in conjunction. So like I stated in the prior video, uh, if you get some backflow up in your uh, <clears throat> plumbing pipes, it'll carry some debris up and get on the valve. It'll also, the valves will grow some slime and snot on them. So my goal here is that this first valve takes the beating, and if it leaks, uh, which they have been, some of them. And they don't leak all the time. Sometimes they leak, sometimes they don't. You can hear them hissing rather than sucking. Uh, you know, when I run the garbage disposal, right, or flush the toilet, you can hear them hissing. Uh, so the idea is that this takes the brunt, this valve takes the brunt of it. These two valves are a double guarantee that that's not, we're no longer going to have this issue. So uh, this is how it will mount into the uh, stand pipe stand so uh, hopefully this helps some people out uh, just got to remember that um, you have to drill holes because on your standard air admittance valve this one here the, the air inlets are on the side so you got to drill your four holes and you got to make sure those holes don't interfere with the uh, plunger assembly on the set in the center there's a plunger assembly okay show it in the other video so that those four holes will allow enough air to go through now, when I do this to the larger valves, because I want more air to go through, I put four holes here. I'll put uh, five or six holes on the other air admittance valves that'll hold the larger uh, valves, the dual valves. So four on the four on the inch and a half, right? That should be giving me enough volume of air to go down into the stand. Four, but on this two, two inch one, and what I've done on the two inch. I'm using two inch on the washer and dryer, or I mean, excuse me, on the washer drain, and on the uh, utility drain, and on the uh, kitchen drain, okay, because they, they have a lot of volume. So it'll go like that, and that black air admittance valve will go up in there. And you have your reducer from two to one and a half. But on that black reducer, instead of four holes, I'll have five or six holes drilled into it to allow for that airflow, more airflow to go through for this to work properly. So there you go. Um, you know, I think it's just uh, some of these valves that, you know, they work sometimes and then they don't work some other times. And, you know, you can attribute it to uh, uh, contaminants in the valve, just the valves, uh, flapper valves wanting to seal at times and not wanting to seal at other times. So who knows? Uh, as I showed you in the other videos, you know, my brand new valves would leak and uh on low pressure so um i have an issue with that so hopefully this helps somebody out that's dealing with this um i really think these air admittance valves could be made better um and i'm almost coming to the conclusion uh, that they really if if, if these aren't made better <laughs> where they can get around these problems of fungus and mold growth and stuff stopping the valve from working and or the valves just working intermittently. Uh, if they can't solve that, they should just uh, outlaw these things. You know, run your air admittance through your roof. I mean, if I was building a house, I wouldn't put these in my house. I can show you that. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to fart around with it. All right, hopefully that helps somebody out. Over and out.